Hello. Good morning. Uh, my name is Kainson Monoye, as you can see here in the slide, and I'm going to take take you through a course on how to create creating a complete website in less than one hour. So, want to use uh, the necessary tools we have to create a website in as little time as possible. Although it's not the best site of all, but a basic, good-looking site can be created in less than one hour. So what do you need uh, to build a site? You'll need a computer, of course, then you need Adobe or Macromedia Dreamweaver. Previously we have Macromedia Dreamweaver, but now Adobe Dreamweaver. We'll be using Dreamweaver CX6, then we have Macromedia Firefox. Sorry, Fireworks. And Fireworks 8 is what I'll be using. So what are the steps? Uh, we have one, we define the site, two, we design the layout, three, we create the home page, four, we create the navigation bar, create other pages, step five, uh, then we copy the navigation uh, bar, actually navigation bar to other pages, then we add content to the pages, and that's all, our site is good to go. So, uh, the site we are going to be working on, I would like to show you what it will look like. I would like to show you what it will look like. Um, let's see. Let's see. I um, don't know if I have it here. Okay, let's see. Okay. <coughs> So you have something like this, but I'll show you what we are going to design now. It's going to be better than what you are seeing here on screen. You have this navigation bar, you have this banner, you have this content area. These are the only thing that will be changing across the pages. Then I have these uh, components, or so, so it can be widgets, or, or uh, graphics here. Then I have this social bar here, you have this footer. That's the basic things necessary for a website. So. Without further ado, we want to quickly move into the work. So we open Dreamweaver. We also keep this open so that each one we do, we mark it off as done. So the first thing we do, here we have define the site. So, site definition, we come here manage site, then we have new site. We give it a name, let's call it a, a, a one hour site. Okay, I choose a folder. I decide I, I use this folder called tutorial one that I've created already. I select. I'll drop down here so that I give a little more uh, details about the local folder. Now, each site has a default image folder where the images are located. So, I choose an image folder and that is here inside my uh, root folder. I have images. Okay, so select, save, and that's all. One of our sites has been defined, done. So, step one, we can mark it off as done. Okay, design the layout. That's an important area because uh, each site must have a layout. So the first thing we do, we create our first page, HTML page of course, and uh, save it as index. The first page in your site must be named index, sometimes default dot html or dot htm. So here we have a blank page. If we preview by pressing F12, we see there a blank page. A blank page. So I want to quickly give it a name or a title for this page. Welcome to my world. Okay. 
so that's it this is the title so if we look at the code we see welcome to my world I could have as well have written it here in the code view but uh, Dreamweaver gives us a good design interface for us to work that makes life pretty much easier so what was my layout going to look like uh, let's go back to the site we are trying to create and look at it okay this is similar but this is not exactly the site but what you are going to create is something similar we have, we have the banner occupying a row we have the navigation occupying a row we have this block here which is also a row then we have this social bar then we have uh, the footer then I like to put some items here maybe uh, links or whatever so what I'll do now is to decide how many rows uh, the layout is gonna be we have one I like to place my navigation bar and my banner in one row then we have this right from this place you see Kington site down to this place is another row okay that's two then we have as I mentioned I'll have to put a little right up here three then we have four so I insert a table I insert a table four rows and one column that is just fine I like to use 900 as the width of my table uh, it's actually not a responsive website so it's a static uh, website such that the tables have static width and height but later later on in another course we may have to create a responsive website that maybe resizes according to the size of the screen so we centralize the table we just created we centralize center okay that's fine so for now I'm not interested in the height of this table I'm not interested in the height for now so um, I can just drag I think that's okay for now later we may worry about the height but for now we okay dragging just to build the layout so uh, for this table I would like to create a style that I will, that I will apply or that will apply to this table so new CSS rule you can apply to any HTML, HTML element dot table okay okay so I'm interested in the background color of this table and uh, the background color of um, uh, how about this uh, I want something really really light okay okay let's leave it at that so come select the table and you see the style we just created applies there so here we have the the location for the banner so I'll insert image and get to images hold on okay I think I have some images already there I have this image here so I use alternate text I just say banner okay so there we go I like to change the width and the height to to uh, 900 and 280 uh, respectively weight 900 to correspond with the weight of the of the of the layout table then you have 280 okay okay let's forget about this for now because I think we need to design the layout let me finish with the layout before I start adding anything so you see this white space up here I have to remove it because if we preview yes we have uh, 
see is an unnecessary white space here so what do I do to remove it? I have to write a little code here in the body I locate the body tag just say style equals margin top 0px okay meaning that on top there is no margin so come back to design you see it's gone if I press F12 to preview save and then the the space there is gone so we have a little space here and also a little space here so I don't want that too so what do I do I simply use zero padding for this table and that takes care of that if we pre preview now we see that there is no spaces there okay so now I say this last one is my footer is my uh, footer is actually have to be small okay then this is where I add some links or whatever and that is also have to be that also has to be small and um, here what I'm gonna do here now I'll have to split this uh, keep keep in mind that what we want to build is something like this so I have to split so I have something like this in one column we have this in another column okay so I click on this icon right here split into rows a column and now I'm splitting into rows so I just click sorry I'm splitting into columns columns and that is just fine so for now I'm okay dragging this to this place okay um now I'm going to insert a table here that has four uh rows and that's where I'll add those items as you can see maybe I'll just leave this open one two three but here I'll use four uh, hold on I think this is the one I opened before here. one two three four so this company a fictitious one has four uh areas of activities they're engaging so I insert table four rows one column and that's just fine okay I'm dragging because I think that may be the easiest way to do it maybe later I'll create a CSS rule that or CSS tile that applies to it okay so here we have this so the next thing I do is to is to uh, create a layout for this place so what do I do I divide this into two two rows okay uh, what is happening now you can easily take care of it as you see here I have this table here assumes a width 900 pixels but the width let's just say 2 to 80 pixels okay I think that is still too much let's click to, to take care of things double click here okay the width have changed I don't know why that happens but if it does happen you can just change it back okay okay so uh, say t let's call it 200 pixels okay so for this table I choose okay I I want to align it to the left and also to the top so I choose a containing tag 
horizontal alignment should be to to the to the right and vertical alignment should be to the top okay, and it snaps there okay let's take a look again okay okay the the background of the table we want to okay now what I'm going to do is to define a CSL a CSS style that applies to this table so what do I do I'll have to come to create a new style here new CSS rule I'll call it uh, I'll call it dot side table and say okay font family here trebuchet let's take a font size of uh, 14 but what I'm interested in here is just the background for now uh, a little bit darker than what you already have apply okay so um, I think I should change the width you know I double click I'll go to positioning I'll go to width uh, say 220 pixels apply okay so for this table I can apply the style I just create that side table to 20 pixels I can also set the height but that will be later on okay well, the background color is not applying why okay let's see okay these this font color I change here so it actually should be font color here uh, just something a little hush okay let's just use this okay then coming to background color we change to something like this okay apply okay so we have the, this table here so still on the layout we need uh, four tables remember we have one two three four we have four tables we need there and we we, we insert them table uh, one row one column no two two rows and one column because we have test in one in one row and and the picture in the other row so we have it here okay uh, I would like to define a style that applies to this so I say new style applies to any I'll call it dot small table okay I can always change the style I'm interested in the font trebuchet that's fine font 14 but what is important here is the background color I want it to be white apply okay so I choose the class I just created the small table it applies so okay so I can just copy this and paste here paste here say control V or command V in mark so we have it the table by the side here so now we have to do a little work here I don't know why the, this changes every time the side table wait let's see this side table have a width of 220 but we see it changes to something else so the problem comes from hold on okay we see somewhere here so I don't need this so refresh sorry got it wrong um, okay 
I think the problem should be coming from here okay let's forget about this let's go back to design view let's go back to the design view Charlie should be to 20 I can apply it from here the small table should have a width of 220 pixels apply that takes care of that so okay so this table here I'll work on the height later on but for now we're okay so we need a table here for the content so we insert uh, insert table just a one row one column table for the content and the height maybe a hundred percent we'll come to it later here I now need to create another table that will take care of the the social oh sh so we have this problem again okay so this table here So assuming a width of 900 okay so <coughs> so what do we do now we want to create dot body or dot body table that is or let's call it dot content table that is another style we call dot content table and that is just fine does content table applies to to any HTML element we're interested in the width so we go to positioning we have a width let's say 600 uh, 650 650 is fine apply okay so we select and apply content table and there we have it there <coughs> so we have we need a table here for the social uh, the one I, I call social bar here let's take a look at the social bar that is this guy here so we add a table for columns because we have four items there as you can see one two three four four items so we add it there insert table four columns and one row and we are okay the weight cannot be 900 I think the weight should be something less than that if we subtract 220 the weight of this from 900 the total weight we have in uh, 680 680 so we set the weight of this guy to be 680 so that it laps good so for now we don't bother about the height so we need four tables in there one table here one table here one table here and one table here to take care of the four items we are going to be using so for each of the table we have two columns one for the picture and one for the test so let's get there insert table uh, two columns I mentioned and one row and that's fine uh, 
I think. Okay. So let's copy. Okay. Okay. Let's just copy across. Edit. Let's take a look. Okay. Maybe we'll change. Uh, the width cannot be. Okay, this is where the problem is coming from. The width of this should be 680. Just double click to take care of things. And that's fine. Oh, it can't be 680, it should be something else. So, let me create another style and call it social table so I can take care of the widths of the little tables dots social table okay so I'm interested in the background let's call it white for now and can we use a width of if we divide 680 by 4 we have an um, we'll be having um, 680, ok let's use our calculator here calc ok 680 divided by 4 having 170 there so can we use 169 uh, so that we give a little allowance a little space so we come to positioning weight 165 apply ok so I simply apply the class social table the width of 165 it's just fine ok so I'm basically done with my layout so after working on this I can copy across so this layout does it look like a layout but that is exactly the layout that's it we are done with the layout no more adding of tables we now have to go to something else um, let's get to uh, this type design the layout the layout done I show you we are done with the layout so we create a home page that's what you are doing now. This I'll change to before I'll be able to change the weight without it affecting the height. I need to unlock this. This constraint here simply means the height changes proportional to the weight or the weight changes proportional to the height. So I'll unlock it. I'll unlock it and I'll be free to change the weight to 900 and that is just fine so I like to preview <coughs> sorry for that and see how it looks like see this space here we remove uh, we also have this we have to remove so close all tabs ok so this I mentioned 680 here but let's see social table is the the later one okay so I can use 680 here I should use something smaller for good reason can I use 670 and that is fine so we don't have an overshoot somewhere here okay What of this? Let me look at side table. Let me look at uh, 220. What about 210? Apply. Okay, so. Apply, so we have it. 
I'll show you an easier way of doing this. So I'm trying to remove all the space at the edge. Okay, so if I preview now uh, yes, so we have here we don't have any space, we don't have any space here, perfectly laps here and perfectly laps at the edge. Okay. So let's get back here. So what we are now designing is the home page. So the nice thing is to is for me to do is that I would like to work on my footer. So let me create a style that will apply to the footer. So I'll call it dot footer. Okay. Font family. I would like to use Arial and this. Okay. Uh, font size. I like to use 18 for my footer and color should be something a little dark something dark okay let's leave it at this or let's choose some other color okay let's okay okay not too bad background something a bit darker so let's use this apply okay so I'll select and apply footer good <coughs> so I add data to the footer let's say kind sounds tutorial web sites copyright so that somebody will not use it for something else 2013 designed by me kind son okay um I don't like the color of that so what I'll do is to come to the footer just change it to 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 white or something else apply think is better it's better by me and also come to the background it's too dark I choose something a little brighter I use this apply okay 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 so I need a, a darker text now so let's get back here and get something a bit darker apply I think that's better okay use something bluish okay so site designed by me assuming this links us to the website so let's just say home.html or you can just drag the index page sorry yeah, you drop. Yeah, exactly. So we have this as a link now. As a link. As a link. So just feel I should change this to something else. Good. That's my footer there. So the next thing I say, I would like to add a few links here. Let's say these people do construction procurement leasing information technology say it's an all-round company they do everything engineering services and uh, let's say catering oh no catering that's too extreme let's say construction is there let's say um, contracts no 
let's say drilling. Okay, drilling. That's fine. I'll simply select this. I don't think I should create a style for this. I may just use the footer style I used before, so footer no, I can't use it. Do because I want something that's just gonna apply to that. So okay, let me just create another style and call it dot links. dot links okay so I use a font family of uh, of Arial about a custom serif font size of 12 this time because I want it to be really small then font color that we have to choose something real dark and different okay okay Let's get to centralize it and yes, text align uh, will be center. Okay, apply. Okay, so select everything and choose the style. No, I'm, I'm not selecting TD, I'm selecting just the text. And choose the style to apply to it. The style is not sh okay. Class good. I apply links. Ah, beautifully arranged there. Okay, we are still working on our home page design. So we say we need social here. So let's insert some pictures. guess I should copy this table to okay so paste here paste the last one and that is just fine for now for now I'll leave it the way it is and um Okay, I'll say. Okay, let me create a style that will apply to the body, to the body tests. Let's call it. Dot bd. Okay, dot bd for body. Or let's just make it a little bit clearer. Dot body. That is fine. I'm interested in the line height. Okay, first font family. I like using trebuchet here. Font size of 14. And font style, normal. Font color, I like using this. Okay. Okay, okay. So, line height, how about 25? Apply, okay. Okay. Join. Not seeing it. I apply the style. Let's call it body. Join me on Facebook. Okay. Follow me on Twitter. Okay. I select change to body. It's just fine. Send me an email. Okay. Body. This is fine. The last one is reach me on phone. Okay. So same body and that's just okay by me. So here I add the Facebook icon insert image here is a Facebook icon and that is just fine the right size I add a Twitter icon here image Twitter icon Twitter icon that's fine 
let's forget this so that we save the time email icon insert image and that is fine let's forget this phone icon locate the phone icon here and that is just fine okay I would like to create all the social table what is it all about okay I'm creating another style now I call social taste because oh hold on social table I would like to change the background to white to white to white and that's fine no not black white okay okay for me it's okay so having done this I think I can preview my website now to see how it is that is okay that is okay so I think I should reduce the size of this boxes here can I make them 160 for good reason because I don't want overshoots so if I preview now yes so beautifully arranged there Okay, so so the next thing I want to do now is to is to define a style that will apply to title. So now I create a style that uh, apply to title. The title. Okay, so font family I would like to use trebuchet sim I use 24 okay so font weight for the title will be bold and font style uh, uh, okay let's leave it at normal line height how about 25 and color will be something a bit dark so I apply so I say this is my home page. Well come to my site. Okay, so the test I think I can copy from the previous site you're working on uh, from here. I can copy this. And copy this and paste it right there. Paste, good. Welcome to, let me just say, just like in the other side, kind sounds training sites. Good. So we have body we need to apply here so we go to the class and choose uh, the class should show up okay good body good this one title okay that, that makes it good this lap here I'll have to remove it and that is padding so I go to body box 
padding I'm interested in the the left padding How about 21 apply beautifully shifted okay let's leave it at that and same for title title there okay so go to box and the left padding how about 21 apply and it's beautifully shifted I also don't want it to lap here on top I want it to shift down a little so I also pad the top 21 about that beautifully shifted down okay so I have to add these thumbnails here and I can just get these pictures from images uh, let's use this doesn't matter it's just okay so insert image insert this okay leasing insert image we use this Let's leave alternate text for now. Engineering services now. Image and we have it there. Okay, so we have this. I would like to preview the site to see how it looks like. So F12. Mm, that is fine. That is fine, that is fine. This space is too much, that is one. But maybe I'll leave it that way. And then... What observation do we have about this site? Okay, I think this one can come down so that it laps just with this. So let's try to do that. so we get back here so how do we do this here's a step we are designing the home page now maybe we just increase the, the height a little side table side table here there is no height Okay, let's add a height there. How about 400? Apply, let's see. I like to stretch these ones to... to 200. Two hundred for all of them. Okay. Small table has a width of two ten. How about the same width? Small table how about the same width 200 of the pictures okay so it's beautifully arranged now of course I'll have to preview the site to see how it looks like it's not bad wait preview again okay so we say we have to shift down this a little so it laps with this so let's see how we do that um... 
I'd like to close up the the property the property window so I see how this goes. So okay, I launch it so that the side table height is the place we want to walk on side table the heights how about 600 I guess it's too much definitely too much how about 500 let's double click to put things in place Let's preview to see how it is. Okay, so the see is arranged, but the color difference here I'm not very comfortable with it. Um Okay, let's leave it that way for now. Let's create our navigation bar. For now, we accept it the way it is. But let me just change this to four nine eight. Okay. I save, save all. Now the next thing is to create a navigation bar. Let me assume I'm done with the home page. Done. It's fine. Create navigation bar and I simply insert spray spray menu bar okay this is fine oh uh, yeah okay so I have 900 and I want five items one two three four five so the width of each of them will be 900 over five which uh, has to be 180 so if you add the menu bar from the spray uh, area of the menu here then it creates a CSS uh, file made up of different styles so this UL menu bar horizontal ally defines the style that applies to each of the items so if I click here I have it, this so what I'm gonna change here now that is this I double click I'm going to change to 180 pixels so that it just takes exactly the same length with the length of the site so say ok and there we are there so let's change the items the captions and the navigation so here I don't need certain items so I for now let's forget about the drop down just to make things a little simple so the first item we have home links to home to index with HTML second item about us is linked to about.html the third item is our services it's linked to services with HTML the next one is gallery links to gallery.html <coughs> sorry about that then we have contact us link to contact HTML and that's just fine 
Okay. So I want to change this color here. I don't want this uh, gray. So where do I change it? I change it from. I look for the style that applies to it. It should be this UL menu bar horizontal A. So I double click. I I am interested in, in the background. I use something mild. Okay, it's okay. But I don't like that color. Let me use something bluish. I think these okay apply. Okay. <coughs> I change the font type to something looking a bit better. So let's come here and change the font family to trebuchet. Apply and see how it goes. And that's just fine. I would like to change the font color to something darker. Something darker, okay. Okay, let's not worry about that for now. So now we have our navigation created. So let's preview our site to see. Okay. It's not bad. This space I don't like it and I have to remove it. What if I I use the the same background here to be the color of the navigation bar? So instead of using blue, I have the same color here. So let's see how it goes. Is uh here I have this place. Can I locate the color? I think it's this. Apply, let's see. I think we get it. Okay, so the title I have to remove the padding on top. So title here a uh, box a uh, top padding just reduce it to two, apply. Apply. Okay, I'm okay with that. So I want to preview my site to see how it is. Yes. I think that blend is fine. So we have a blind here. It's not a perfect side, but it's okay. The blend is not very good, so let me change it. Let me use something else. Uh, how about a darker color? Something like this to create a very good contrast. Then we have a test color of white and apply. Okay, so. Okay, we change the test color from here. A test color of white. Apply. Okay. A test color now. What's here? Okay, I don't want to be in this loop. Okay. Um. Use the test color of white. What of here? A test color of white should apply nicely. Okay, it should be a UL list item. It should be UL list item here. I have to. R I'm running out of time. See you here. Okay, so now we have this problem. Um, 
that is a big problem we have here basically change everything to white just want to sub main no can be it should be this I think but this is not okay how about test it and see how it is. Good, beautiful. Sometimes you have to preview for now I'll leave everything like this. Though the color combinations is now the best so far but I think I should leave it that way. Okay, so see how it is. So now we are done with the home page so let's come here and say navigation bar done create other pages is what you are going to do now so what we do is we remove this test here okay let's let's just save us um home about save save us services save save us contact save and the last one is gallery save us gallery save other pages done I think the navigation bar have also been copied to other pages so if I if I preview if I say home home about about you can see here services services gallery gallery contact contact so the navigation bar is working perfectly so other pages done okay so add content to other pages or modify the content of other pages index we are done about 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 me okay I remove the exclamation mark Oh, I. My name is Kind. Son, I live in Nigeria, and I am a software developer. Okay, that's just about me. I change to learn, get to know me. Fine. Services are services. Okay. Okay. Just remove one of this guy here. We offer good services to to all. Okay, this our services change to our services. Okay, come to contact. Contact me because this is me. Remove this. You can reach me phone I'm not gonna put my correct phone number so but I know this 
that of code a zero three correct but other ones I make it up okay email I put my correct email yahoo.com that's my yahoo email you can contact me gallery that I have nothing browse our oh, gallery okay just put some pictures there okay I'll change this one to contact me okay our services gallery let's see browse our uh, gallery okay that's fine so I save everything save all let me just check the time to see if I'm on track okay browse our gallery I think we are done so save all so there we go uh, just change these ones to look like links just change to look like a link But I made a mistake, I should have copied to other pages, save all. Okay, so preview. Alright, so my site is ready and good to go. So this is my site. Less than one hour we are done with this site. Home, correct, about, about me, and see, get to know me services or services or services <laughs> so you can put a few write up on what you do you can use this my site as a template and just put a few write up there I've not added these links because we are working with time but in my next tutorial I'll show you first how to use a flash here so that we use images and create a flash slideshow so instead of a static image here on the banner we have a slideshow. So we have gallery or gallery browser gallery. You can contact me, my phone number or my email address. So this brings us to the end of our course. So add content to other pages done. So check out for my next uh tutorial on how to create a slideshow there as a banner. And then other subsequent courses I'll be posting you will learn how to create a more professional looking website so catch you next time